So we're playing some Red Dead. Uh, just kill a drug trader because I hate junkies. It's uh, personal reasons. No, thank you, my dear. Let's go see Santa. de Santa solo permite que yo le toco a su pistola. Forme. Hola. Buenas, señor. ¿Qué tal? A todo tu servicio. I'll be back with more next time I pass through.
Glad to be of assistance. My apologies, miss. Miss? I shot a woman? I have this.
unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la No tengo nada. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston. <coughs> I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay then, gentlemen. Hey. Namakshon! How can I refuse? What convenient timing for a friend to join, Mr. Ricketts. I'll be watching you. I fault. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. That's better. I call you. Just ain't getting the cards. I'll call. Looks like the table has turned. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. Call. Interesting. I call. Check. I'll check. We need a new deck. That's me out. Terrible. Not for me. You two must think I'm a fool. You fucking cheat. Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat. Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. 
Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? As soon as he draws, put him down. You should have stayed home, Yankee! We've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Did I shoot him in the ass? Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. No puede ser. Ayúdame, alguien. Today, find some cover. Tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Just a little something for my troubles. Cuidado! Esta revolución no es en nombre de Dios. De veras? My apologies, miss. Pero que chingadas!
Hacemos una apuesta. A bet. Beat me in shooting, you win the dinero. Come on then. Show me what you got. One for the pop. Just great. This ain't nice, I know. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, señor. Sí, hola, buenas, uh, hola. Good, hello. Eres llorón, maricón, me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? Esta es la mano de los de Fir Reyes. La mano que spoke to you of. <laughs> Afrento, México. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho. Drunk, who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. 
Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> they she only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force. <laughs> Force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. Go. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. I'm just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry! You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on! I will race you there! You're being too kind on that horse! Come on! Come on! Oh, I'm a bitch, huh? Men are dead. The rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. Traitors must be made to suffer. Shown that we will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. They're animals. We will slaughter them accordingly. Right behind you! Yeah! Yeah! Why are you stopping? Why is this gringo? I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. Son of a bitch!
we got here. I heard the little oars growing in that house over there. Right. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? <laughs> John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Some of the new girls before they spoil. To the victor, the spoil.
Tengo que irme, amigo. Hasta luego. You don't know my wife, miss. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir, but Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! No, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. Let's head for Escalera. No rush. I'm sure they'll hold the executions till we get there. Come on! Whoa, there. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd... Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. 
I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. No. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá, 
Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Oh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adiós, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adiós. Te amo. My brother has given us his stagecoach. They are good. Pause for a minute while I'm try trying to get this damn thing to stabilize. What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No les dejen escapar! Keep going! Faster, señores! Run off! What is that wagon doing? Take the left here. Stay away from it. Run the video. Feel anything? Master, we cannot slow down. I will show you the way. We must be careful to avoid the army, or they will kill us both.
Take this left. What are you? You want to stop doing that? Likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just outside the escalera. Vamos! Arre! What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are we going? We're taking control of an abandoned port on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can at all establish a stronghold. The Coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Abraham Reyes tiene un verdadero ejército. Captain Espinosa has set up camp at the base of the Mesa. We will join forces with him there.
Oh, why are we not gonna talk? I'm not gonna waste time. Wake up! We're drawing near to Torquemada. Stay alert! Something doesn't feel right. It's an ambush! Cover us! We need to get to the camp! That idiot Espinosa has made. Was he that deranged captain at Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog we let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will lead the wagon here. Ignore this stupid aid. Shut your mouth off his boy! Bingo! Take that sniper rifle over there. He has made his work. I need it more than you now. That was too close for my liking. You are all black. 
You take the snipers. We can hold off the rest. Sea mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Killer IQ, uh, deserves fine women and wine. 
The best pleasures Earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> go get Drogo, get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> I actually can't side with that motherfucker. Problemita, machote. Inútiles. Imbéciles. What a coincidence. Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death. 
between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. You got arms for the poor. Uh, oh, sir, could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives. Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path, so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. <sighs> there you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. Is there something else I can do for you? Let's see, we got time. I think we got a little bit of time. One more mission. Louisa. I don't wait for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where is he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. 
How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me. The woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. El Presidio is to the north. We must hurry. Who knows what they will do to him? skip through because we are running out of time I can only post two hour videos at a time almost there he is still alive I feel it El presidio there it is you have to find the way in I'll do my best there is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Good luck. Que Dios te proteja. You can do this. You have God on your side. El infierno te espera. Don't think you'll be needing this. Victoria! Now please cut me free, senor. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. 
Oh, yes, such a devoted thing, el amor de mi vida. Quick, find us a horse. You will have to ride, I am too weak. Let's go, my friend, before the army returns. Come on. Easy. Luis has sent me. Vamos, dete prisa. The army is coming. Come on. Carajo. Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. Come on! How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about this day. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Allende's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely managed that. We saw you some back in. Buena suerte, compadre. Come! There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. <coughs> Mr. Marston. Oy. The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La vas, bella. Eh? Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. We're not going to see him get shot right there. I think we had enough fun for a night.